Welcome everyone. Um, we are going to be hearing from Miguel Pellicer and um, Miguel is the CTO at EDF, one of our fantastic sponsors for this event, and an LMS market entrepreneur with a strong commitment in open source education technologies. He's an active member of the Sakai community and the Spanish team since 2008, acting as security and internationalization lead. Miguel has led more than 30 Sakai deployments all over the world, including elite universities in Spain, Netherlands, UK, Colombia, Mexico, Chile, and the United States. He prefers to take questions at the end, so if you want to put questions in the chat, um, we can address them later, or probably at the end, there'll be enough time for you to just raise your hand and ask a question. Take it away, Miguel. Thank you so much, Jen. So, welcome, everyone. Uh, I would like to talk about the AC project. I think this is the third time uh, I did a presentation about this project because it's it's been in, it's evolving pretty well, and I'm, pre I'm pretty proud of it because uh, we started with we start we started this project with a code base with a Sakai code base, and we evolved the platform, providing more features and more features and more user experiences to make a. I don't want to say a complete new product, but a complete different user experience uh, maintaining our, our, our technology. I would like to talk a little bit about Noodle Partners. Um, Noodle Partners is a modern online program manager. They are the, um, the main leaders of this project. Uh, we are supporting them in, in the development of the product, but they design uh, all the features they design, the user experiences, and we implement them. They've been an active Sakai contributor in the past. Uh, they, they contributed Common Soul, the, uh, I think Bullhorns, and, and, other, and other features. Um, they are working with AC uh, to launch its online professional development platform uh, for members. And during this COVID situation, uh, the collaboration and the number of users increase in the platform a lot because they provide contents and many since many uh, students and faculty move to 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 work remotely uh, they've been more active in the platform and uh, um, the project basically experimented uh, uh, a grow up in the number of users. <laughs> And also, I would like to talk a little bit about EDF. It's a, it's a Sakai commercial affiliate. Um, it's a community member since 2008. Um, at this moment, we are working for four continents. All of our, uh, all of my team, they are senior resources. I think Bernie has 12 years of experience like me, and Paco the same, and, and the others have like five or six years of experience. We host support and, and, and development over Sakai. And we also do content development. Um, basically, when we started with this project, uh, they wanted to use most Sakai tools, like the 80 or 90% of the tools. But they wanted to provide a different user experience. Uh, and they wanted to make it more social. So the first, let's say the first milestone of the project was creating a new portal and provide a new set of tools to to engage or to improve the collaboration between, between the members. Um, so at this moment, uh, we, are, we are working on that. And we released uh, the first version of the portal in August 2018. Uh, we created the first pilot. I don't know if I can hide this. We started the second version of the portal in January 2019, and we released it in March, uh, three months later. And at this moment, we are incorporating a lot of exciting features this year. So I'm going to share those features with, with you. Basically, it's powered by Sakai. Uh, we, the portal has been rewritten, and now we are, uh, we are using the AC portal second version. We created a new membership tool. We created a new commons tool, a new resources, a new roster. We provide a new UI for the chat. We incorporate new bullhorns. Uh, 
we incorporate push notifications to mobile devices. We're doing internal reports. Um, we integrated Zoom uh, using deep integration. So you can create uh, Zoom rooms uh, at portal level and a course level. We're incorporating more and more items um, through deep linking. So you can link posts, messages, and, and other items in emails or external websites. We extended the privacy settings. At this moment, we are incorporating paywall features. We're integrating the CRM, and we have more and more things on our backlog, like profanity filter, blog content. We, are, we want to create custom dashboards for analytics and doing more and more and more. So as I stated, the AC portal was written from scratch. Uh, we provided a new portal. At, at that moment, we had Morpheus, which is the existing portal. And we created the AC portal in parallel. So basically, both portals were compatible. Uh, we were able to switch between portals. You can use Morpheus, or you can use the AC. We provided new layouts, basically one column, two columns, and three columns of contents. And we created new components for them and a new set of tools that, of course, look better in the AC portal version 2 uh, and clash a little bit with, with Morpheus just because the tools were created for the AC portal. Uh, we created a complete onboarding process for new users. Uh, we also provide global tools at portal level. News and notification is mobile friendly and is focused on collaboration, engagement, and social learning. So um, it's, it's powered by Sakai, but it's more social oriented. So this is one of the magic of the open source. Uh, you can grab the source and you can customize the source to our needs. And this, this is real and we did it. I think this is the fourth time we implement a, a custom portal and a custom user experience like this. So this is an example of the AC portal login. So it's a completely different login. You can sign up or you can log in. And you can check the documentation that's in there. Uh, this is an example of the onboarding process where you can create an account. It's basically a new portal. Uh, and when when you log in in the platform, then you are prompted to insert some data about what's your occupation, your organization, your job, job title, your address, and you can uh, accept the terms of use, the privacy policy, policy and the code of conduct. Um, this is an example of the main portal help and support. You have the different articles. And you can contact the help desk, you can contact the team, and you can do a survey, etc. So the main portal basically uh, is, is displays the AC room, the AC news, the upcoming meetings you have in Zoom, uh, the introduction video, and also you have the, the, the let's say the global posts. So the global posts are global. Uh, they, don't know, belo they don't belong to any site. Uh, they belong to the, let's say, the community, the full community. So we needed to provide a um, new feature for commons to work in a global context instead of a site context. Um, this is an example of the notifications powered by bullhorns. Uh, the top header contains more or less the same options as a guy. And we have an option to create a new Zoom event and a new site through the header. So it's pretty straightforward to create a site or to create a, a new event. Uh, in this project or in this context, we call site groups, basically groups of interests. OK? This is the, this is the, the option to create new groups, which is a site. You can. Uh, you can put the name of the site, describe the site, and you can configure three types of site, public site, closed site, or private site, okay? It's, it's basically similar to Sakai, the joinable concept, okay? Uh, a public site is a site where it, users can join and get one role. A closed site is a site when you need to request uh, access, so if I create a closed group uh, of interest, then people can 
request to join, and me as a maintainer can approve uh, the, the requests, and you can make it private. So uh, private is not listed in the, in the, in the groups uh, tool. It's not public, it's not listed, and it's only by invitation. So I only invite people that I want to invite. Um, so this is an example of the new membership tool. We call it My Groups. And in My Groups, you have all the groups that you belong to, and also you can join or public or closed groups. You can see the locker here, the dif differences between open groups. This is an open group, and this is a closed group. Of course, private groups are not listed here. And of course, we have all the US regions. I think we have the South region, the West region, the North region, etc. Okay, so people from the same region collaborate and engage in the same groups or sites. Uh, this is an example of the library where we put contents. Uh, they release contents uh, periodically and you can subscribe to courses. And now I think we are working on, on the paywall and working on sub subscriptions. So you can access some contents and other contents are, are paid. And you need to subscribe to get access to those contents. Uh, this is an example of the paywall. Uh, this is in beta right now. We are working on that. It's not released yet in production, but basically you can subscribe. You can be a member of the organization. Uh, you can pay monthly or, or yearly, and you get access to, let's say, premium premium contents. Uh, this is an example of paying by, by car or PayPal. And this is an example of the different subscriptions you have on your profile. All of this is incorporated inside a profile tool. We created a new profile tool where you can change your profile data, you can change your privacy settings, your notification settings, or your subscriptions. Mm, this is an example of the events, how to create Zoom events. You can create Zoom events at global context or as a group context, which is site, okay? At site context or, or global context. So it's pretty good because you can do group meetings, you can do global meetings, and also you can do one-to-one one -one meetings. Okay? You can invite specific per specific people to your meeting. Okay, you can uh, virtual event or in person, uh, you can provide the different options, who is the point of contact, the website, and then appears in the in the Zoom in the Zoom widget, which displays the upcoming events, my events or the past events. This is an example of the profile, uh, the new profile tool. Uh, it relies on the same data but it has a different UI. An example of the notifications, posts, uh, email reminders, upcoming events. This is an example of the privacy. It's very similar to Sakai, but different UI. Who can see my profile, my online status, my first name, last name, etc. This is an example of the new assignments tool. It's more simple than assignments, less options because they want they want to create assignments in a in an easier way. So basically, we we create a new UI providing uh, less options because they don't want to deal with, I don't know, due dates, start date, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This is an example of common tool at, at, at a site level, at a group level, okay? They are content from, from different groups, okay? Um, Share files is a new UI, uses the same backend of resources, uh, you can create different folders and organize the content and it's integrated with the tools so you can embed files in commons, you can embed files in, in our forums, in our chat, you can, you can embed the files in different tools and you can share any kind of file. Okay. Members tool is a, replace, a UI replacement for raster. It's, it's more simple than raster. And basically provides the list of the students and you can add them as a contact and, or you can chat with them. We have also a new chat UI, which is integrated with profile. You can make mentions and you can receive notifications on mention. I think it's pretty easy or it's pretty good to mention someone in a group and then receive a notification that, hey, someone is talking in the chat about you. So you can, you can log in and you can chat with them. So this is an example of the new UI. It's very similar to the existing chat UI, but it fits better with the, with the portal. 
We also implemented global reports for the management and they are admin tools and we provide information about the usage, files, posts, comments, events, uh, how many items happen in the courses, in the groups, et cetera, et cetera. So this is an example. So we provide numbers. We provide numbers to them, like how many groups they have, how many public groups, closed groups, private groups. So these are very basic analytics. So they can, they can let's say, promote uh, features uh, to the community. And I would like to do a quick, a quick tour of the AC portal. Um, let me, okay. So you see my screen? Yep. So this is the production server. As I said, we have the sign up option to, to create a new account or we can, we can directly log in. I can log in with, with my account, which is Luke Skywalker. So this is powered by Sakai, and the good thing about this is we can uh, still grabbing changes from the community because it's a new portal. So what, what we do is create a new portal, a new set of tools in parallel of the existing logic. So you can still maintain and you can still upgrade and you can still receive uh, the benefits from the community, and also you can build on no to, uh, you can work on new features and new tools and maintain them uh, in parallel, which is pretty good. So as I said in the presentation, uh, we have the top header, we have the different bullhorns here, the, the upcoming meetings, uh, the news, the global, uh, the global commons. So I can share my thoughts here, I can post an image, I can post a video, or I can leave an attachment. Uh, so people collaborate here, engage. I can create an event or a group pretty fast. So for example, I can create an event here or I can create a group. Like if I create a group, then displays, as I said, the name of the group, if it's private, if it's closed, etc. If I leave, I can leave the process and I will access a group. So basically this is a group, this is a site and I have some tools in the site. This is the commons tool. Of course, this is a test site. It's not, it's not a public site. I don't wanna show real data. We have access to our resources tool, which is in the new tool. This is the option to uh, publish a new, a, new, a new file. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, they don't, want to, they don't want to provide many data. They just want to share content, okay? Uh, site members, which is the new raster tool where you can collaborate. You can see the, per, the, the profile of the different or the features. Also, we have the new groups tool, which is a replacement for, for the membership tool. And you can, you can look and you can search uh, groups by name. These are the groups that you're a member of. Uh, you might also like these groups. So the system suggests you uh, new groups, so you can join groups. For example, this group is, is locked because it's um, closed. And this group is open, so I can join previously. And also I can browse. I can browse between all the groups that are, are in, the, in the platform. So I can search by topic and I can join them if they are public or I can request to join if they are closed. And um, I think that's all. I think I left many time for questions. So questions are welcome. There was one question in the chat asking, which CRM are you integrating? Any question? Miguel, can you hear me? Miguel? Miguel, can you hear me? I can hear you, Jen. Oh, okay, we've lost Miguel. So Miguel's not hearing.
Can you hear me? Hmm. It's got to be on Miguel's end. Yeah, seems that way. I don't hear. No. Nah. Nope. Yeah, nah. you don't hear. Bummer. Hopefully we hear you. No, I don't hear anybody. Is everyone muted? Or? No, we can hear you. <laughs> Check the chat. Oh. <laughs> chat. <laughs> Watch this. I'm going to call Miguel by phone. Wait, just one second. <sighs> yeah, I know, but I was hearing you before I started my presentation, so. Yes. Pretty hard. Oh. <laughs> Let me switch. That worked, huh? Hello? Can you hear us hear now, you. Miguel? No? Miguel? Hmm. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Miguel? Hmm. Go. <laughs> uh. oh, tell him to look at the chat. I don't want to shout, so I'm. I, I don't know why I had caps lock on. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I hear you now. You can hear us now? Yeah, so. Fantastic. So thank you so much, um, Zoom. This moment has been sponsored by Zoom for some reason, <laughs> because I promised that I was hearing you before I started my presentation, then I share my screen. And after that, yeah. I can listen to anybody. So. There's a few questions for you in the chat. OK. them because I love sure them. which CRM are you integrating uh, Microsoft Dynamics mm. Microsoft Dynamics basically the users log in in Sakai and uh, they want to keep track of the new users in this, in in those system in that system so we're working with Microsoft Dynamics so every time a user joins the AC network then Microsoft Dynamics has the same user, and everything that happens in, in one place is synchronized with the other place. Thank you. And Dr. Chuck, do you do want to ask your question? Yeah. So, so do you have any kind of a unique session uh, uh, business logic where, like, is it more MOOC style, or is it just, you know, 15 weeks or five weeks? Because, like, MOOCs are getting to the point where they roll people over into the next session, bring assignments forward. It's a rather, the concept of session in MOOCs is, is rather fluid. And so I'm, mm -hmm. I'm curious if you've had to fix that or, or is this just online stuff that's 15 weeks at this point? To be honest, I don't think I can ask, I can respond to your question because we are just the developers. I mean, we are not the leaders and we, we don't make decisions around, uh, around the courses and the sessions and the contents. Like the that's... Uh, you just it's you're using this it's pretty much the same as what sessions are in Sakai right now yeah exactly okay. part of my question was is this moving towards being kind of like a competitor for open edX and I think I think no it's really still just a uh, it's really just a Sakai that's tuned for hundred percent online yeah, I would like, I mean, I would like to be transparent, but I, I don't have a clue about all the movements because I don't, I don't, 
I don't make the decisions. Uh, we collaborate in this project as a developers. Um, we receive the designs and the challenges and we implement them. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if. Thanks. I promise I want to help you, Charles. <laughs> Do you have any other questions? I'm seeing none. I guess I have one. As uh, Miguel, are any of the components of what you're developing um, licensed for open source or? Um, everything's open source. Everything's open source, cool. Yep, everything's open source. I mean, we didn't release uh, the code in public repositories but it's powered by open source and we try to contribute as many things as possible in Sakai. And uh, yeah, I tried to contribute some of the UI changes in the past, but we didn't find the moment to do it. Well, hearing no others, I think we'll say thank you very much, Miguel. Uh, we appreciate your time and you're putting that together and um, we'll be seeing you all around soon. Thank you. Anytime, thank you. Thank you.